Hey guys, Carl from Athletes Authority here. Just before we get started with today's case study, we want to let you know that there are a few minor difficulties with our mic. So unfortunately, what we've had to do is in some areas, we've had to wind down the volume and replace it with some subtitles. So before you get started, make sure that you watch this one, not just listen to it so you don't miss any juice. With that said, let's jump in. It's Carl here from Athletes Authority, and today I'm with Nadi Moore. Nadi Moore came to us about four months ago. Yeah. Um, got a call from you, I think, yeah. or maybe an email or something first. And it was a, a pretty interesting story. You two ACLs in two years, yeah. which is pretty tough. And then when we started to have a chat, I, you told me about the goals and ambitions to play for the WAFL, I think. AFLW. Yeah. AFLW, I should get that right. <laughs> Um, and there was obviously a bit of a gap between where you felt like your current physical ability was and where you probably thought it needed to be. Yeah. So tell me a little bit, bit, little bit about that. How did, how did the two ACLs happen in the first place? Uh, so I did my first ACLs, pretty much my first main injury of all time, um, when I was 22, um, so three years ago now. Um, and it was a contact. I thought it was a, you know, a complete non-event in terms of it was just because it was contact and I could prevent it. And I came back from that a year later, pretty strongly, I thought, um, and managed to hold off on injury for, for, that, for that first year coming back. So I thought it was a really positive um, experience. I went through, obviously, all the, all the same battles that lots of people go through uh, with sort of hamstring issues. Um, I had the hamstring graft for the first one. Um, and you know, there's lots of obstacles as you go through, but um, all in all, it was I thought it was a very successful rehab because I managed to play for the following year um, a full season of AFL um, and sort of quit netball, which is the reason for that first um, ACL as well. Um, so I thought, you know, it's footy, it's a new sport, never done an ACL playing footy, I'm good, I'm out of the injury thing, uh, and then come back for that second follow-up season, uh, had a huge pre-season, was really trying to improve myself and uh, round three uh, devastatingly it uh, just sort of went no issue no the other the left the opposite knee went um, with no contact no nothing um, so that's sort of hard to swallow knowing you know there's no reason I don't have a reason to to explain why that happened and um, or to go oh this is what I can change next time because nothing happened um, it just it just went um, not off the ball and um, away from anybody. So um, coming back from that knee was this knee, which is currently I'm uh, 11 months post-operation now. Um, so where was I when I came to you guys 11 yeah. months for seven months ago, seven months in, I was sort of going, I'm in, in that end phase and I'm a bit lost. I'm really lost, I don't know what I want to do. And uh, I was looking for a program and some support and you know, and people that are going to care and, and get me through and tick all the boxes I need to tick without sort of having to think about it. Uh, and uh, my partner actually suggested um, this place, a little bit far from home. I don't like going over the bridge too often, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's been amazing ever since I started. And um, We hear that all the time and you hear like all these girls, all these guys have great pre-seasons and feel like they're doing so well yeah. and then it just happens like yeah. that what were you doing during that pre-season that maybe now with the education the training that you're doing now about ACL rehab that you maybe weren't doing in that pre-season yeah. what were some of the things that you noticed so the main thing is my um, it definitely thought. back to that pre 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 injury I don't really I can go to the gym if I want but I don't need to um, whereas when I came back in that first year, I was diligent. I was like, I'm not letting this happen again. I'm good and I'm ticking all those boxes. The second season, I was like, I'm fixed. I'm good. I don't need to do that stuff as much. I'm still doing it. Um, uh, the amazing pre-season was the, was the actual football. Um, the trainings that I was going to, was training with the guys, um, it was just that high level. Uh, and it's all, it's all in controlled environments, so you're not really at too much risk of injury. Um, I'm saying that. But anyway, and... Yeah, uh, definitely not, not enough uh, what all the ACL pre, um, prehab stuff they're doing across lots of professional teams at the moment, lots of pre, what do you call it, um, yeah, post pre. prevention, yeah. stuff like that. Um, no, none of that. Uh, so it's definitely something I'll bring forward 
so what, where are you at now? Because this is kind of an exciting time. It's, there's lots of things up in the air for you. About four months and from all intents and accounts, you're going to Melbourne to do what? To, yeah, so I'm moving to Melbourne to play, to play, to get that next challenging, um, be in that next challenging environment of training and games because um, they're just at that next level. Uh, similar, what I think will be similar to when I was training with boys, uh, although I can't play with boys, so this is my sort of way to get there. Um, I'm not there yet. I'm at 11 months. I came back for my first 11 months. I'm going to take this one a bit slower. I'm very aware um, through being at AA, um, through some tick boxes, being involved with the physios as well, um, of some things that I'm lacking. There's some, my original knee um, side of my body is, isn't, isn't in full... Um, Nick, it's not, yeah. it's, not, it's not perfect yet and I'm not, don't want to risk going back just yet. I want to sort of tick some more boxes, I want to get my hammy um, more even, more strong and I want to get that balance on my right um, a little bit. Because there's a big distinction, right, as you've probably found out between meeting time kind of constraints, 11 yeah. months, 12 months versus being actually ready to perform and having some yeah. more tick box criteria, exit yeah. criteria for actually knowing that you're ready to go back. Correct. There's a huge distinction between those two things. Usually you think 10 months or 12 months and then I'm ready to go back. It's not really that. It's actually much more dependent on how the body's moving, how the body's yeah. performing. I think something we noticed was that your current ACL leg that does within the last say 12 months was actually performing better mm. than the, the one from a few years ago in yeah. terms of landing mechanics and all those types of things. So um, can we maybe kind of segue into that? Was that a big eye opener for you? For the second time? Yes, it's very different this time. The first time I was feeling great at 10 months and I came back at 11 and there was, there was no restriction on my mental, there was no restriction on what I felt like I could do and I came back and there was no issues. And this time there's, um, there's still niggles, I'm 11 months, there's still things on both sides I'm, I'm aware of. Um, I don't know if it's the education or... What's the biggest take? Right, a few nuts. Um, it was the attention and the support. Um, from all, from all the coaches, but in particular Seton and yourself, uh, was the constant, uh, yeah, that care and direction um, that I was looking for, and I got exactly um, as I came here. So, um, take away from the ACL, take away from coming here. Take away from coming here. Yeah. Okay. So that was it. Was that, um, and um, feeling that, you know, feeling like I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing, rather than trying to find your way through all the ACL um, information. Um, there's, so, there's so many so many studies, there's so much information on it and it's it's overwhelming and it's good to just have that direction that's you know also coupled with physios that you have here on board, which are really awesome too. So it's kind of like the clarity knowing, even if wherever you're at, that you know kind of what the steps are and where you're going yeah. and, yeah. and what. And then I'm doing it because before, even though I kind of knew what I meant to be doing, I wasn't doing it. Um, so coming here and getting it done. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time. Appreciate no it. Thanks, Carl. All thanks the best, Nance. Pleasure. Cheers.